Hello, let's learn about the core concepts of Git. Git is a version control system. Version control is a system that keeps track of changes to a file or set of files over time so that you can go back to specific versions later. Let's understand version first. Say if we are writing a long article and want to keep different states of the article as we make progress on it, what would we do? Well, a simple strategy would be to make a copy of the file each time we complete a paragraph or unit. Let's make different versions of it and we can call it v1, v2, v3 and v4 and so on and so forth. So this way we'll have multiple copies of the file each recording the state of the article at different stages. This process is called versioning and each copy a version. You might have experienced this yourself. When you start working on a project you make one copy and then the second copy and in no time you have hundreds of copies of the same project. The problem with this method is that A. Comparing changes is hard. B. You have to make multiple copies which makes it prone to naming and other errors. This won't work for a large project that has hundreds and thousands of files. C. It's hard to share these copies and work with other people on this. Git makes it easy to keep track of changes to files and folders, collaborating with other people, trying things out without disturbing an original working copy and reverting back to previous versions. Alright, let's see how Git makes versioning easy. In Git, we make a new version by creating snapshot of the entire directory. This saved snapshot in Git is called a commit. A commit saves the state of files at a particular point in time. Let's take an example. We start with a directory which is Git enabled. We add two files to it named f1 and f2. Now we want to record this version. We do so by creating a commit. Let's call it c1 having f1 and f2. Now we make changes to f2 but leave f1 untouched. We can capture our new changes to f2 with the second commit. Second commit has updated version of f2 and old version of f1. Now we add changes to f1 and also add a third file called f3. We can again record these changes with third commit. This commit now has updated version of f1 here in pink color, previous version of f2 in green and the new version of F3 in blue. Usually we make a commit when a logical unit of work is done. Say completing a feature or fixing a bug. These commits keep a pointer to their previous commit and so they are linked. This enables us to go back and check out a particular version whenever we want. This is called a commit graph. Now this process of making changes to a file and committing it goes through three stage process. The three areas in Git are the untracked area, or working tree. The working tree is what we see on our file system. This is where we create, update or delete files. Every change starts in this stage. At this stage, Git doesn't track the changes yet. The staging area. This is the preparation area before we add changes to our commit. Git gives us control on which changes from our working tree we put into our next commit through this staging area. In this stage, Git starts tracking changes. Keep in mind that when a file is in a staging area, we can still make changes to that file and in case we do that, it will go back to untracked changes. And then the committed area or history. This basically keeps the commit graph. In this stage, Git records a snapshot by creating a commit. Let's understand this with an example. Say we have three files in our working tree, f1, f2 and f3. However, we only want to put the changes of file f1 and f2 into the next commit. So we'll move these files into the staging area. Here, Git has started keeping track of these two files. Only the changes that are present in a staging area are put into the next commit. So when we are ready, we move them to the committed stage. Once it moves there, a commit is created. Let's call it c1. This keeps the snapshot of these two files. Now we make more changes to f1. In that case, f1 will again start from being untracked. The color change here represents the change in the file. Now we are ready to commit the changes in f1 and f3. So first we'll have to move them into the staging area. And once we are ready, we make a commit. This will create a commit. Let's say c2 which will have the newer version of f1, older version of f2 and f3.
So to recap, Git is a version control system. Every version or snapshot is called a commit. Each commit keeps a pointer to the previous commit that makes it easy for us to go back and check out a particular version whenever we want. Git provides three areas, working tree also called on-track stage, staging area and committed area. A new or changed file starts off being untracked in the working tree. We commit files whenever we have completed a small unit of task. First, we move the desired files to the staging area and finally when we are ready, we take a snapshot of the directory by moving those to the committed area. 